And it's going to happen again and again. It has to happen. Hey guys, this is the Dark Passenger. Just thought I'd share how I got into horror films. Since it's October, you know, horror month, I just figured that I'd do this video today for you guys. Basically, how I got into horror films. The very first horror film that I ever saw was Stephen King's It. I was interested in it for a while before that, but then I only, you know, then I only, but I only saw it when I was 13, like I said. And when I did see it, that movie, you know, it really scared me, especially the first half, you know. I could not get that clown out of my head. I had nightmares for a long time, and I, you know, this film still sticks with me. I can't forget it, ever. And that's the reason that I don't like clowns today. <laughs> because of Pennywise. And after that, I kind of got addicted to horror films. I could not stop watching them. The very, you know, the second horror film that I ever saw was John Carpenter's Halloween, you know, from 1978. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the shelf there. You know, it's one of my favorites, really creeped me out. When I first saw it, you know, it's a very suspenseful horror film. And this, this film, you know, it spawned all these sequels and a remake and a sequel to a remake. So, you know... This little independent horror film, well, that's what John Carpenter intended it to be at first, spawned, you know, all those sequels and, you know, the remake and the remake sequel. I, I don't think he ever expected that to happen, to be honest. But, but I guess it's because it did real you know really well and you know I don't really remember what the third you know what the next horror film I saw after that was but you know I'm just gonna go ahead and just talk about some of my favorites you know ones you know horror films that I love to this day that I saw earlier you know we've got uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre here, the original, great film, really love it. You know, I also have Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, but I really don't like this film. And of course, the remake is also one of my favorites. Really love this movie. Now over here, we've got Orphan, also a great movie, I really love it. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. I don't know if you can really see that or make that out. We've got Maniac, another one that I really love. Great classic horror film. House of Wax. Another good movie. In my opinion, a remake of a 50s film with... Um, Vincent Price, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So that's House of Wax. Then we've got... Halloween 2. You know, the original... Well, I guess you can... You know, from 1981. That's, that's what I mean. The Halloween 2 from 1981. Great film. I love that cover art as well. Also, um, Halloween H2O, another horror film, another film that I really love, one of my favorite sequels in this franchise. Um, then we have Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which I really like as well. You know, 
not as good as the remake of course but I do really love it um, we have the original Evil Dead you know great film in my opinion but I still do like the remake better to be honest but that's still a really good movie the original um, we have you know, 30 days of night here this is probably my favorite vampire film I really do enjoy this film uh, American Psycho you know everyone knows this film you know I don't think any there's anyone out there that doesn't know it great film in my opinion Christian Bale amazing as Patrick Bateman in this film okay and up here you know this is just my little collection of blu-rays here saw another one that I really love great horror film I just saw it, finally watched this on blu-ray recently and you know amazing quality in my opinion we've got the hills have eyes remake directed by Alexandre Aja really great movie in my opinion the original I couldn't even get into it was terrible <laughs> yeah so that's the hills have eyes another one of my favorites really love it And up here we have Rob Zombie's Halloween. Another great movie in my opinion. I actually enjoy this better than the original. And I know I could get hated on for that, but you know, it's I respect other people's opinions as well, so <sighs> Yeah. So I guess that's pretty much all I gotta say thanks for watching thanks for listening subscribe uh, let me know how you got into horror films you know what the first horror film you ever saw was and you know yeah which ones you saw from then on I guess <laughs> stay tuned for more reviews videos Peace out.